one thing that I like to talk about is that the probability thing. Small probabilities don't mean zero probability. So if I say that I'm working with a 5% error rate here, we usually do that. We choose an alpha of 5%. Or we want to reject the null hypothesis um, using a p-value of 0.05. That's 5%. Well, you have a 5% chance or risk of being completely wrong. Because think about it. Those 5%, 95%, all, the, all that stuff only exists before you do the experiment before you take your sample, for instance, and really perform the experiment. After you performed it, it's done. There are only two possibilities. You're either right or wrong. That 5% is gone. And 5% is not zero. So you have to keep that in mind. Sometimes I see people uh, saying they, they read a paper with a some comparison, and there's a statistical comparison, and yeah, okay, they rejected the null hypothesis, so this thing here is associated with this outcome here. And then somebody says, oh, we did this, and uh, we found, we didn't find any kind of association. They must have been, they have done, must, must have done something wrong. Or we are doing something wrong. Maybe not. Maybe both are right. Because there is a 5% chance of being wrong, just by chance. You're not doing anything wrong. That's how you are performing the experiment. You are coping with a 5% risk. That's what you chose. 